Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and you're very welcome to the 2021 annual Waterford Business Awards. We're delighted to be involved in this very special celebration of the fantastic business community in Waterford. And by the way, this show is live streaming on WLRFM.com. And if you're tweeting, you can use the hashtag WBA21. Yep, we're your, your hosts for the afternoon, myself, Damien Tiernan and Mary O'Neill. Hope you're going to enjoy the next hour, hour and a half. We'll see how things go. Firstly, we're going to start off with a welcome address by the Waterford City and County Mayor, Councillor Joe Kelly. Taoiseach, Chamber, Presidents, Finalists, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honour to be here today as Mayor of Waterford City and County to recognise the determination and innovation of our business leaders. We have been through the toughest of times, but we have come out fighting as a community, and that is due in no small part to you, our business community. From my ongoing engagements, I am all too aware of the pressure you have been under, so today I would like to thank you all and simply say, well done. While there will be only one winner in each category today, to me, you are all winners, and I applaud, and I applaud your tenacity and commitment. These are the eighth annual business awards. We have seen a lot of change over the past eight years and we are about to see a lot more over the next few years. There is so much coming our way in terms of economic development, not least the coming on stream of the Southeast Technological University in May of this year. This alone will have a hugely positive impact on our city and by extension on you, the business community. Waterford City and County Council believes recognising you as a community through these awards is hugely important and we are proud to be sponsors of the overall Waterford Business of the Year Award, which I will have the great pleasure of announcing before today's ceremonies conclude. I would like to take the opportunity to thank Waterford Chamber for their tireless work in the business community and for organising this event today along with partners Dungarvan and West Waterford Chamber and WLR-FM. Now that restrictions are lifted, I hope you will take time this afternoon to celebrate your achievements and that of your employees. And again, I extend my warmest congratulations to you all. Gaurav Mila Mahagul Galeer. And thank you to Mayor Kelly for such positive words. Now we have a very special address from Antishok, Michal Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is a pleasure to speak with you today and to join this year's Waterford Business Awards. I would like to begin by congratulating all of you who were shortlisted for awards and who are participating today. I believe it more important than ever that we take time to acknowledge the resilience, determination, hard work, and of course, the success of so many in our business community. And I'm glad to have this opportunity to do this with you today. We've been through an extraordinarily challenging period these past 24 months. Out of necessity and the urgent challenges the pandemic has brought, many of you here today have had to embrace change with new business models, digital technology, and more remote and flexible working. I firmly believe that these changes will stand to businesses and your workers in the recovery period ahead. Throughout the pandemic, the government has provided extensive and necessary supports, sustaining businesses and protecting jobs, and laying the groundwork for recovery. As we move now beyond the pandemic, we are working to ensure an environment in which businesses big and small, international and domestic, throughout the country can flourish and thrive. This is the central ambition of our economic recovery plan, which was launched last summer. It outlines how we will not only support national recovery, promote regional development, address structural and long-term weaknesses in our economy, but also how we will prepare for the transition to a carbon neutral and digital future. Even before the beginning of the pandemic, we were facing into a decade of immense change and transformation. Many of you here today are operating at the forefront of innovation and adaptation in order to face the decarbonisation and digital transitions and are seizing the opportunities they will bring. This is reflected in particular by today's Green Excellence and the Technology and Innovation Awards. By contributing in this way to our economy, 
you are helping to pave the path towards a low carbon and digitalized future for others. I want to reassure you that in this important journey, you will be supported by the government. We are helping businesses adapt and we will assist workers to navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. I am pleased to say that we are also stepping up government investment in Waterford and in the Southeast region in order to drive a regionally balanced recovery. This investment includes over 25 million euro in urban regeneration funds for Waterford city centre, the recent announcement of a 1.4 million investment in the Dungarvan Digital Transformation Hub under the Rural Regeneration Fund, the historic establishment of the Technological University of the Southeast, which would be a major driver of regional development and increased opportunities for all, and which would be backed by significant new investment. Extensive investment in sustainable tourism infrastructure, including the 24 km Waterford to New Ross Greenway, the development of a new block at Waterford University Hospital, and we're also stepping up our plans to drive increased housing supply with record public investment and a number of new affordable and social housing schemes in development in Waterford. This year, the government I lead will redouble our efforts to drive job creation and economic development, foster new opportunities, and ensure we remain a competitive, welcoming, and attractive place to do business. We have much to do, but we have detailed and funded plans in place to increase housing supply, build out infrastructure in areas like energy, broadband and transport, and provide the skills needed for the years ahead. In short, we have plans in place to sustainably rebuild our economy, support competitiveness and renew our society. Through the resilience of businesses and workers, the Irish economy has had a remarkable recovery over 2021. For all of you here today, you can reflect on 2021 and what you have achieved in this strangest of years with great pride. And as we look to 2022 and beyond, despite all the new challenges that will emerge, we can do so with optimism. Thank you once again for the opportunity to speak with you here today. Congratulations to all those shortlisted, to today's award winners, and to the winner of the overall Business of the Year award. I hope you all enjoy the rest of this awards ceremony. I'm Taoiseach Michal Martin there, and thank you very much, Taoiseach, for that wonderful message, some very warm and encouraging words. If you've joined us late into this, thanks very much for joining us. We may have listeners all over the world. WRFM currently has listeners in 109 different countries through our various smart speakers. Some watching on the Facebook page, on the WLR fm.com and also on the Chamber website. Welcome to these wonderful awards. We're going to go straight now to our Chamber President and a message from Waterford Chamber President John McSweeney. Good afternoon everyone and a very warm welcome to you all today on the occasion of our celebration of the annual Waterford Chamber Business Awards 2021. This is the eighth year of the Business Awards, and I would like to thank our colleagues in Dungarvan and West Waterford Chamber for their collaboration in presenting these awards this afternoon. These Business Awards are an important milestone in the Chamber calendar, and are an opportunity for us to recognize and celebrate the innovation and dedication of businesses over the past 12 months across our city and county in what was a challenging year due to the ongoing impact of COVID. Whilst the nominated businesses are based locally, their impact in their nominated category is felt across the county, country, and internationally. And we are fortunate for the positive impact that they had and continue to have in the communities in which they operate. As always, we ask you to continue to support local business and consider them when you are purchasing any products or services into the future. In presenting these awards today, we wish to recognize and thank all of our category sponsors without whose support the event would not be possible. Your support to date is greatly appreciated 
and we look forward to continuing our awards relationship with you into the future. A special thank you also to our judging panel, headed by Noel Kelly, for, for their time and efforts in choosing the category winners today. Not an easy task. We, of course, also wish to acknowledge the support of Waterford City and County, County Council and our media partners, WLR FM, in both previewing the category nominations in recent weeks and in broadcasting the event today across social media channels. May I wish everyone the best of luck and thank you again for attending the event. John, thank you very much for that. Some very warm and encouraging words. We're going to go straight now to a brief message from West Waterford Chamber President David Walsh. My name is David Walsh and I am President of the Dungarvan and West Waterford Chamber of Commerce. The Dungarvan and West Waterford Chamber is delighted to partner with Waterford Chamber, Waterford Council and WLRFM in acknowledging the exceptional businesses of all sizes and sectors that are operated across the city and county. An awards competition keeps business sharp and aware of the advances in their own industry. It's a great self-evaluation tool and offers many benefits to businesses by entering the process. Waterford City and County is a great place to do business with an energetic and determined business community sustained and encouraged by a palpable support of local culture. Best wishes to all support sponsors and shortlisted businesses in today's awards for continued success. Barbua. And thanks very much to David. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is how the ceremony will unfold from here on in. We're going to announce 11 category winners with a short video of every nominated business ahead of that. And the awards will then culminate in the big prize, which is the Overall Business of the Year Award 2021, sponsored by Waterford City and County Council. But first, Mary, we have a wonderful award. We have our Entrepreneur of the Year Award. A serial life science entrepreneur and inventor with a track record in founding successful businesses and delivering global product launches, this year's recipient of Entrepreneur of the Year is Waterford's native Louise Gorman. Louise is CEO and founder of Trivium Vet, an animal healthcare company which works with veterinarians globally to develop and commercialize medicines and diagnostics for use in companion animals. She previously founded Nutriscience, which develops, manufactures, and markets novel veterinary nutraceuticals, a business that was required by Sweden Care in 2009. She's founder and chairperson of Q1 Scientific, a stability storage solutions provider for the life science industry. A graduate of Trinity College, Louise holds a Bachelor of Science and Master of Science and was appointed chair of the Board of Tangent, Trinity College Dublin's Entrepreneurship and Innovation Hub in 2021. She also she was also a finalist of the uh, EY Entrepreneur of the Year Awards in 2016. From concept through to commercialization, Louise has a track record in delivering innovative life science products and services, holding several publications and patents. She's also passionate about mentoring up and coming talent and promoting Waterford to an international audience. On behalf of everybody here at Faithleg and the wider business community in Waterford, can I extend sincere Congratulations to you, Louise, and wish you continued success for the future. Uh, massive well done, uh, Louise. How are you doing? Congratulations to you. Thank you very much, Mary. I mean, I'm absolutely honoured and uh, humbled to receive this award. I um, want to thank the, the Chamber, who continually you know, work so hard to recognise all businesses in Waterford. And of course, that's something I'm so passionate about. So it's, it's an honor to receive the award and to be recognized by my peers within, uh, within the business community. And thank you very much. I mean, it was outlined in the video there. You've been involved in so many businesses. Um, serial entrepreneur, I think, is an absolutely great title. What motivates a serial entrepreneur? I mean, you must have huge energy all the time, Louise. Well, I love the startup phase of, of any business. I suppose that's really what keeps me going when you have an idea and you think, yeah, well, this hasn't been done before, so why can't it be done? And can we do it? And how do we put it all together? So having you know worked across three different types of businesses and all very different, they all have the same sort of characteristics that you know you need to solve some problems. 
and you need to build a great team around you. And I've always been very lucky that I've been able to get the right team with the great, you know, with qualifications, the drive and the enthusiasm to come with me on any journey. So I am very lucky with that in that respect. And then, of course, I'm passionate about being able to create whatever business we want from Waterford, from home, um, and that we can grow any business globally from from our base here. And I'm delighted to have been able to do that a couple of times. Uh, I know from hearing you interviewed over the last couple of years that uh, you'll be glad uh, or you are glad to see the, the back of restrictions. I know you like to meet investors, to be out and about, to meet people face to face. That's all important to you. So exciting times ahead, Louise. It, it absolutely is. I'm delighted to be out. Uh, and and you, you can't build a business without meeting people. Um, and in the, the past two years have been a struggle. And more different sectors have, have struggled more than others. And I suppose we've been fortuitous in being in sort of the pharmaceutical space, which has, has had to continue. Um, but it has slowed things down. And I know we have a lot more going on in the world around us at the moment. And it's unfortunate coming out of COVID that we have other world events that may... Um, you know, take a little bit away from, you know, the enthusiasm with which we can hit the ground running. But um, I am delighted now to to be able to to move and to meet people. Fortunately, we can't meet you all today, but I, I really appreciate the award and thank you very much again. Well, Louise, uh, massive congratulations again to you and to all your team. Louise Grove, Entrepreneur of the Year at the Waterford Business Awards and lovely to chat to you. Thank you. Congratulations to Louise. They're marvellous, marvellous, isn't it? And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to kick off our award categories. First of all, it's New Business of the Year. Supporting new businesses is at the heart of what we do at the Waterford Local Enterprise Office. So sponsoring the New Business of the Year Award is a good fit for us, and we congratulate all the finalists. We know that starting a new business takes bravery and determination, and you have all shown that even just by entering the award. So well done to you all. 360 Keystay opened in the summer of 2021, aspiring to nurture the hidden gem that is Dungarvan, set out to retain that unexplored quality that locals and their locality has to offer. We wanted to create an escapism from mundane life where adventure seekers and recreational travellers alike could enjoy some comfort and fun in a completely new way. The historic building, Oris Brewer, with its striking late Georgian and early Victorian architectural features, was once a hotel. To counterbalance the building's beauty and unique history, we set about lovingly crafting one of the most modern, forward-thinking guest experiences available. A cutting-edge sustainable technology used throughout the property is the future of hospitality, whether you're here to work, rest or play. Hi, my name is Elaine Power from East Pier. In our short life, we have proven that there was a need for a dedicated seafood destination experience in Dunmore East Harbour. East Pier has become a destination to sample locally caught fish as well as locally grown chips and the place to go in Waterford to taste lobster rolls, Woodstown Bay oysters and other local shellfish washed down with a glass of Prosecco. 2022 will be my fourth year in business and I'm looking forward to reopening again and welcoming back all our friends and customers for the summer season. We opened our doors in December 2020 to have a meeting place for family and friends directly on the beautiful Waterford Greenway here in Tommy. We're a very vibrant cafe serving premium coffee and we specialise in patisserie cakes which are made here in our own bakery in Dungarvan. We also serve breakfast and lunch all year round with an evening dinner menu in the summer months. All our meals are homemade and even down to our own sauces and dips. We look forward to your arrival here at the Railway Cottage, where a warm welcome awaits you. Thank you. And the winner is East Pier. Congratulations and well done. Yeah, so huge congratulations there to East Pier. Uh, Elaine Power joins us. Elaine, how are you? Oh, my God, I didn't expect that at all. I'm really in shock. Thank you very much. I'm really honoured and, and, my God, humbled. My God, thank you so much. Thank you to the, the Enterprise Board, my God, and to the judges. 
because uh, uh, well, I stopped talking now. No, <laughs> <Chatting. I>, like, <laughs> no, I just thought we had really, really strong opposition. You know, the 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 railway cottage is a fabulous offering, and what the guys are doing up in the three hundred and sixty um, hotel, it just looks absolutely like cutting edge stuff. You know, it's fabulous. Um, and here we are in the harbour in Dunmore East. Um, oh my God! Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Elaine, I mean, it's such a popular offering, East Pier in Dunmore East, and you certainly put a lot of work into perfecting uh, that offering. Talk to us a little bit about training with Rick Stein in Cornwall. Oh, um, that was that was fabulous. Um, I suppose, like I, 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 we were in business in Dunmore, in the family business. You know, we were butchers, and they were pub. My uncle is a pub, and we were Centra. My brother took over the Centra, and I thought about doing something new, and I. I, I thought that this would be a great idea to do something on the harbour. So I knew about groceries, but I knew nothing about selling fish. And I looked up one day and I was asking everybody for a work experience. And my reputation was went before me. Nobody gave me a job. So <laughs> I just I just said, you know what? I looked up Rick Stein. I saw he was looking for people to work for him. And I just applied for a job. They rang me and they asked me would I come over. They must have been really stuck. But anyway, I went over and I had the best summer ever, 2017. Worked in all his operations there. Um, uh, his fish shop, fish bar, his fish and chips, his oysters. Uh, I was in Padster, which is very like Dunmore East. It mirrors Dunmore East um, and Rock, which is across the estuary from it. And you get the same clientele. Um, it was just really a home away from home, very coastal and rural, um, fitted in well. Uh, it was it was great fun, I must say. Uh, I worked for about, they asked me what I stay on. I said the last time I worked for like uh, seven pounds an hour, I was 12. So no, thanks very much. <laughs> I think I'll go home. But uh, it was brilliant. I, I had an excellent time. I've kept in contact with them and I learned loads. And I get, that gave me, I suppose, the confidence to to just go back to Dunmore and, and just try try it, you know, and do it. So thank God, thank you for to the customers, to the team, to the people like that, my friends, you know, family, the people who've always encouraged me and surrounded me, um, everybody and everybody in Dunmore. And thank you. Thank you so much. Well, massive congratulations again, Elaine, uh, to you and to the team at East Pier. And thank you so much. And next up, it is marketing excellence. <laughs> To have a successful business, you need to know how to promote it. Perm TSP is proud to sponsor the Market Excellence Awards and the hearty congratulations to all the nominees. Hi, my name is Claire and welcome to Collect. We are very honoured to be shortlisted for the Marketing Excellence Award by the Waterford Chamber of Commerce. When we talk about marketing here at Collect, we like to talk about our five-star customer experience, our nationwide online booking platform, our amazing sales team, our continuous mission to drive sustainability in the waste industry a wide range of services to suit any job, whether big or small, domestic or commercial. So when you think Collect, think Clutter Ganana. Hi, I'm Sandra from the Lady Slip Lingerie for More. The Lady Slip is a dedicated lingerie boutique and bra fitting service, and we are passionate about what we do. We opened in August 2020, so as well as the usual challenges facing any new business, we also had to deal with two lockdowns in our first year. But we've gotten through it and the business is going from strength to strength. We've welcomed people from all over the country into our little shop here in Tremor and online also. We are absolutely thrilled to be shortlisted for a Waterford Business Award. Paul here from Paul O'Connor Cars. We are delighted to be nominated in the Marketing Excellence category of the Waterford Business Awards. We're a car sales, service and auto body garage in Dungarvan County, Waterford and employ 10 people across our three garages. Um, our marketing is mainly done through online and mainly through social media and we've combined a total of over 21,000 followers on Facebook and Instagram. Our marketing is light-hearted, entertaining and involves us presenting our cars in the best way possible. Uh, check us out online at Paul O'Connor Cars and I think we'd be a worthy winner for this award. Thank you. The winner of the Marketing Excellence Awards is... Paul O'Connor Cars. <laughs> Paul O'Connor, congratulations. Big smiley head on you. Yeah, thanks very much. I'm absolutely delighted. You so must, I don't know what to say. You're thrilled. That's the com competition is very, very tough there in that award. 
Absolutely, yeah, no, and I, I kind of wish I did a better promo video there now. It didn't come out well, the quality wasn't great, but the rest of our marketing is really good, I promise. <laughs> no, it's really, really good. It looks great. I was looking at some of your Instagram and different feeds, and you try to have a little bit of fun, I suppose, with it all and bring something else to it. Tell me a little bit about how you developed the marketing tool in terms of social media. Yeah, like I, I spent years working for a large main dealer group and um, I suppose the motor trade is all, it's very similar and it's, I suppose it might not have the best reputation for a lot of things, but I just wanted to make things as approachable and as lighthearted. Um, you know, I think you see online, you know, it's a very approachable place to buy a car. It's a bit entertaining and that gets a lot of engagement online. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's kind of my strategy. I said, it's, you obviously buy a few cars up was great, but... I hope you, if you see us online, you're a bit entertained by it as well. So that's all part of it too. Uh, did you actually do some training yourself? Like, uh, have you a bit of a, an actor sort of a bent within you there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. No formal <laughs> training anyway. Um, I, I, I've been marketing degree from my UL days up in Limerick. But um, yeah, so I dressed, but I just kind of winged it a bit. But uh, it's, gone, it's gone okay so far. Ah, it's gone great. Congratulations and well done on growing the staff numbers and well done to everybody in the staff because I know you value Thanks very much. <clears throat> staff extremely highly. So uh, congratulations, Paul, and the very best of luck. You never know, you might get a few sales out of this now. Uh, hopefully. Listen, thanks very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks. We'll talk to you again soon. Well done, Paul O'Connor and everybody involved in that award category. Next, we have technology and innovation. <laughs> Hi everybody, we at Dawn Meats are proud to sponsor the Technology and Innovation Award at this year's Waterford Business Awards. We are very conscious of the need for businesses to adapt technology and innovation in their endeavours and we wish all those shortlisted today the very best of luck. Hi there, I'm Anthony Cronin, founder and CEO at FlexiWage and at FlexiWage we're all about employee financial wellness. We help employers to empower their employees to manage their income uh, better. And we do this through our intuitive app, which allows people to budget, save, learn and improve their financial well-being through scheduling their wages to suit their own needs. So, for example, if on a monthly payroll, people can manage uh, find it hard to manage their money across the longer period. We allow them to select whether they are weekly, fortnightly or monthly to best suit their circumstances without impacting an employer uh, payroll process. We'd also like to thank everybody in the Water for Business Awards and I uh, wish the best of luck to all your contestants. Thanks very much. Walton Institute is the R&D arm of Waterford Institute of Technology. Located on the stunning Carrigonore campus, it boasts a number of test beds which allow industry in achieving their objectives to utilise new and emerging innovative technologies. The Corona Vioris application demonstrates the type of training that can be created to allow a person to adapt in critical working environments without undertaking any risks. We are delighted to be nominated as finalists in the Waterford Chamber Awards and wish everyone in our category the very best of luck. And the winner is FlexiWage. <laughs> And big congratulations to Flexi Wage. We're joined by Anthony Cronin, CEO and founder of the company. Anthony, it's great to see you looking so delighted. What a great achievement. Oh, yeah. Well done. Oh, yeah, delighted. Jeez, we're, we're in shock, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> great, again, great, uh, great other companies in the category. And geez, we're delighted uh, representing West Waterford. It's good to see two in a row now for us. And uh, oh, just delighted, to be honest. So, great yeah. stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's brilliant news for you. And you guys had big news in recent years. You secured a US patent, which is no small feat. Tell us how that came about and what it involves, Anthony. 
Yeah, yeah. I suppose we we started down that track in 2017, and it was actually only last year we, we got it. So we were awarded a 20 year patent on the product. Uh, it's big news because it allows us to operate in the US for the next 20 years with no competition. And I suppose that's where our sites are headed over the course of the next 12 to 24 months. But look, it's, it's just delighted now today. It's great to uh, you know be involved in the chamber. It's been great to us both in Waterford and West Waterford and the LEO. So just want to thank everybody involved and, and the sponsors, Don Meets, for, for sponsoring the award. Thanks very much. Well, listen, Anthony, uh, go off and celebrate with the team from FlexiWage. Well done again, winning in technology and innovation. And now it's green excellence. Energy Group is the proud sponsor of this year's Green Excellence Award at the Waterford Business Awards. Congratulations to all three shortlisted companies. Sustainability is at the heart of what we do as a business, from te renewable technologies to energy efficiency. And we're delighted to be the energy partner of the Waterford Chamber as we work together to share the message of sustainability across Waterford and to wider regions. So you might ask, what has the Cantec Group been doing to deserve this nomination? Well, we've been doing lots. We've been taking lots of small steps, as well as some giant leaps, to increase our sustainability and help protect the gift that is our environment. We're incredibly proud to have launched the first completely Irish toner recycling programme. In January, we recycled a thousand empty toner cartridges. And outside, our fleet is going green. We're migrating our company cars and vans to electric vehicles. We have five so far and we're only getting started. All the packaging material surrounding the machines is carefully separated and recycled. The dreaded but essential polystyrene is collected by our customer, Waste Matters. All these little steps add up. It is the power of one, done by many, that makes change happen. Hi, Paul Nolan here from Dawn Meats. And on behalf of our team, I would like to say how honoured we are to be shortlisted for the Green Excellence Award 2022. Although sustainability and taking care of our environment has been very much in vogue in the last number of years, we are proud to say that for the past 15 years under the patronage of our CEO, Niall Brown, it has been one of our core policies. Over the years, we invest a million euros per annum in terms of research and development and information dissemination, both for our own business and indeed for the thousands of family farm grass-fed beef suppliers to ourselves. Indeed, we disseminate a lot of this information also to the local schools where we engage with the students to help them understand and encourage them to tackle sustainability with gusto. We are very proud of Waterford County Council's efforts to make Waterford the first decarbonised city and we hope that the efforts we make at Dawn Meats contribute in no small way to the better living standards for all the citizens of our community. Thank you. My name is David Ennison at Viking Irish Drinks. We produce a range of organically made beverages such as ciders, wines and liqueurs. Our commitment to the environment and green excellence is by producing within the ethos of sustainability and our ecosystem with low carbon emission bottles and 100% recyclable labels. All our wastewater from our cidery and winery is fed to a reed bed system which creates a natural habitat for wildlife and creating oxygen through photosynthesis from the reeds and the plants. Our annual tree planting includes native trees and cider apple trees. Our energy is maintained to a minimum as our process is generally carbon neutral. Thank you very much and very best wishes to fellow contestants at this year's Chamber of Commerce Awards. And the winner of this year's Green Excellence Award is Dawn Meats. Congratulations. <laughs>
Paul Nolan, you gave a little jump there, a little jump of delight. Congratulations, Paul, and everybody in Dawn Meets. Just checking there, Paul, if we can hear you. You're able to uh, just go again there, Paul. Keep talking. I don't know if it's coming from your side. Uh, just as we're trying to sort out that, uh, Dawn Meets has been involved, as we know, as you said, Paul, for many, many years over 15 years in terms of green policies and initiating different policies regarding that. So it's a very difficult category to win and some wonderful entries there in the shortlist. Uh, let's see if you can hear us there now, Paul. Okay, a little bit of technical problems there, Paul. We might come back to you later on in the programme, if you wouldn't mind. If you can just hang on there, we're going to move on to the next category. We'll see if we can sort out that technical glitch. But congratulations, Paul, to you and everybody in Dawn Meets. Absolutely fabulous. Well done. A really hard achieved award. And as I say, some great initiatives going on. Next, we're going to go on to the Tourism Attraction Activity of the Year Award. <laughs> Fault Ireland is delighted to sponsor the Tourism Excellent Award as part of the Waterford Business Awards. Waterford has some of the best tourism assets in the country. And as an organisation, we are proud to honour those businesses today. The last two years have been extremely challenging for our tourism industry, as it has been one of the sectors that has been most severely impacted by the COVID pandemic. Congratulations to the three nominees, Blackwater Eco Tours, Cliff House Hotel, and Tremor Amusement and Leisure Park. You have continued to deliver excellence in your businesses despite these challenges. And I wish you all a very successful season in 2022. from the Cliff House Hotel in Ardmore. I would just like to say on behalf of all of the team here, thank you very much for the nomination and wishing the very best to all nominees at these awards. Thank you. <laughs> of the Tourism Excellent Award is Cliff House Hotel. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, big congratulations uh, to the Cliff House Hotel. We're joined by Patrick Shields. Patrick, absolutely delighted for you. Tough category there. Uh, tourism in Waterford, a lot of amazing things. But you guys at the Cliff House, you must have one of the most unique settings in the world where you are there. Well, thank you so much for the award. We're really, really honoured and I'm delighted to, to be able to share that with my team later on because um, for the heartbeat of the ho hotel, really, a lot of our team come from the region where we are and, and they're hugely important to us. Um, congratulations to the other nominees. Blackwater Eco Tours are an amazing non-profit organisation. 
um, on ecotourism and, and you know, Tremor Amusement and Leisure Park have a phenomenal array of amusements. So it's, it's a real honour to, to, to win this award and, and thank you to the judges and, and the sponsors as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I mean, there's so much in the Cliff House, isn't there, Patrick, as well as that beautiful setting that I referred to. I mean, you have a fantastic restaurant there and a new chef who joined you recently. It's a real destination, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're, we're blessed with our location um, just on the side of the cliff there in West Waterford in, in Ardmore. Um, we get a fun repeat guests um, and a lot of celebrations, whether it be anniversaries, birthdays, honeymoons and all of that. And we have just the 36 rooms to fill, so not too big either. Um, but we're very, very lucky. The domestic guest is very important to us. And we hope now as things ease with restrictions and everything, we'll see more of the international visitor as well. Well, listen, massive congratulations again to you, Patrick, and the team at the Cliff House Hotel. Delighted for you. We move on to our next category, ladies and gentlemen. It's food and beverage. As sponsors of the Food and Beverage Awards since the awards began, PwC are proud to continue our support of what is a vibrant and integral industry in Waterford. We would li like to wish all the shortlisted businesses the best of luck and congratulations to you all. 360 Cookhouse is about offering you delicious and remarkable food and drink in a casual dining experience that is welcoming, memorable and fun. It's about offering you gracious and informed hospitality in an atmosphere where laughter and conversation resonate. It's about continuity and consistency in our efforts and our outlook dish to dish, day to day, year after year. It's about the unbreakable commitment within the 360 Cookhouse family to elevate the standards and expectations of our industry. It's about our ethos of food sustainability, respecting our place within the circle and our planet and bearing responsibility for those that come next. It's about strength, trust and unbreakable bonds, bonds of family and friendship, yours and ours. It's about you. It's important to us to be aware of our carbon footprint by supporting local Irish growers and farmers that is sustainable for years to come. To empower our food community by educating ourselves to embrace the past, nourish our present while sustaining our future. My food ethos in Faithlake is simply respect for everything. I believe in food and the joy it brings to everyone. In times of happiness, we celebrate. In times of sadness, binds us together. In Faith Leg, we enjoy what we do. Hello, I'm Ken Madden from the Lismore Food Company and we are Ireland's leading fine food, drink and hamper gifting company. As well as a range of handmade biscuits in luxury hot orange and gold tubes, we have a range of 50 other delicious products such as teas and coffees, chocolate and hot chocolate, savoury nuts, vinegars and much more, all made with the very finest ingredients. We have a global reach with national and international markets direct to consumer, to retail stores and to businesses. And every single gift and hamper from the Lismore Food Company sparks a moment of joy. And the winner is Facebook. <laughs> And Jenny Flynn joins us now from Faith Leg with a big <laughs> smiley, happy head on you. Ah, your reaction, Jenny? Oh, um, we're absolutely thrilled. Oh my God. And like, there was such like com competition in this category. So we're absolutely thrilled. I am shocked, but I'm thrilled. It's wonderful. This really is one for the team. It really is. And again, as you say, the competition is very, very tough. So some really good finalists there. You've done an awful lot, Jenny. I've interviewed you a number of times over the last two years in terms of keeping with local producers, developing jams in different ranges. Like, what have you learned as a chef and as a business person over the last two years? I've learned a lot. I've learned um, so much from the people I work with. But I, I suppose the passion from the Waterford suppliers and all the amazing companies in Waterford that continue to support us in Faith Leg. I'd just like to say thanks to everybody. It's, it's just, we're just thrilled. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's really brilliant. Are you off tonight? Or are you working? Will you be able to have a little celebration? 
well I'm working you have a, a fabulous wedding on this evening so um, I'll I'll probably have a glass later <laughs> Damien thank you <laughs> well enjoy it and Jenny thanks very much for joining us and everybody in Faith Leg and the finalists in that category thank you again I think uh, Paul Nolan may be on the line now I think we may uh, you might have sorted out your, your headset problems Paul can you hear us there now Paul I can hear you. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. That's superb. So uh, you sorted out those issues there. Again, congratulations as the Green Excellence Award winner. And listen, I mentioned about the years of green work that you've been doing in the company. How would you sum it up, Paul, in terms of all those different systems coming together and, and building on what you've done previously? Well, first of all, can I sum up myself to say I'm still buzzing some minutes after your announcement, Damien. Um, we're really delighted and we'd like to thank uh, the chambers in Waterford and Dungarvan, the sponsors, Energia, the judges and, of course, our fellow competitors. Um, I suppose uh, I'd say two things to you, uh, if I could, just one first to say, you know, we, we've been privileged in Dawn to actually win uh, some business awards down through the years already. So we really know and appreciate the value of this award not just to Dawn Meats, but to our producers and also to our customers. So thanks a lot. It really, really means a lot. Yeah, in terms of our green agenda, I suppose it's something that we've been working on for many, many years. Our farmers, as you know, produce the best beef and lamb in the world. And our job as processors is to continuously strive uh, to get that quality product to our customers worldwide in the highest environmental standards, because that's what the consumers of today demand. It's not an overnight thing, and it's something that it takes years and years to get to a certain level. But once you're there, you can't rest on your laurels. So, yeah, we, we, we do a heck of a lot in terms of trying to help the efficiencies in production, both at plant and at farmer level. Uh, we work on our habitats that happen to surround our factories. We have all of our energy now that we use is green energy. And uh, I suppose it's all the time about understanding and implementing best practice in the area of environment, which is obviously all of us in the whole world have, have, have skin in this game. Paul, very, very well said, genuinely. And to you and to everybody in the management team and on the factory floor and all your suppliers and producers, congratulations and well done and continued success. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. You're very welcome. Paul Nolan there from Dawn Meats. Now we're going to have our next category, training and people development. <laughs> Waterford Chamber Skillnet is an industry-led training network and last year alone we supported over 450 organisations in growing their business through talent development with subsidised training. We are delighted to sponsor the award for training and people development. The very best of luck and continued success to the businesses shortlisted today. Hi everyone, I'm Roseanne Miller and I'm proud to be the CEO of Emerald Contact Center. We opened our doors with six people just seven years ago. Today we're 100 people strong in our beautiful new office space at Confederation House where we live out our aspiration to be the best option for our clients and our employees. What's our magic? Simple. We bring on only the very best people. We're delighted to be nominated and congratulations to all of the other nominees. Liberty Blue is a people business and training and developing our team helps us deliver the very best in customer care. Here in the Marriott Hotel in Park Lane in the centre of London and we are just after completing a six hour masterclass on digital marketing especially for estate agents. You know if you give them exceptional experience they're going to tell their friends actually you know what i can't believe i keep on hearing from liberty blue the whole time it's really important we have to showcase the property at its very best show off its face and street potential perfect have you questions for me no i want to see how it works okay so next up we need to take the fire safety alarms and okay. carbon monoxide alarms there's a carbon monoxide alarm here with the boiler yeah and we just log that in inventory base okay and then it's on the report perfect okay. our passion is people I am Anne Nolan and we are Waterford Integration Services. More people are displaced in the world today than after World War II. Here in Waterford, we're taking the social responsibility in supporting those who do not experience the same access to services and employment opportunities as others. 
We focus on human rights based principles to ensure that the most vulnerable in our society have the same opportunity to education, training, employment and enterprise options. We are based here in the Enterprise House in New Street, Waterford. We would like to take this opportunity to thank Waterford Business Awards for this nomination and we look forward to working with you in the future. And the winner of the award for training and people development is Waterford Integration Services. <laughs>
Uh, we put our members at the heart of everything we do here in St Dominic and to get this recognition really is fantastic. Uh, best of luck to all the nominees and uh, we look forward to the, um, the award ceremony. Thanks very much. The winner of the Customer Service Excellence Award is St Dominic's Credit Union. <laughs>
The winner of the business of the year, up to 20 employees, is Q and Scientific. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, great news for Q1 Scientific, and I am delighted to be joined by CEO Stephen Delaney. Stephen, congratulations to you and the team. Oh, thanks very much, Mary. It's um, really surprising. I'm d delighted to, to win the award. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, uh, I'm kind of lost for words now. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> brilliant. brilliant. Thanks so much. It's brilliant news. I mean, people in the pharma and life sciences world would have known for a long time uh, the very specialist work that you do and how important it is. But I suppose in the last couple of years, you've gotten a lot of sp spotlight on a wider level because of your ability to store vaccines. And I suppose it was kind of an unexpected publicity for you guys. Yeah, yeah, we kind of got our, our five or 15 minutes of fame uh, this time last year when there was a lot of talk about vaccines and ultra low storage and where they were all going to be stored. So it was great to be kind of called upon as uh, an expert in the industry. And that gave us a lot of exposure, you know, for, for a business in Waterford. Uh, we would work with a lot of the large multinational companies and the companies who actually manufacture vaccines. So, so to be seen as an expert and a trusted source on that kind of topic um, was really, really good and really great for the business. And I suppose it's 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 uh, it's really nice to win the award when your first award is today was uh, Louise Grubb, who, who founded the business 10 years ago. So we're just kind of trying to continue on what, what she started or set down in the foundations. Yeah, and I mean, you are still a relatively small team, you know, of, of very specialized workers. Yeah, yeah, the, the company has grown hugely. So we, we started with 5,000 square feet um, back in 2013. We're, we're 25,000 square feet now. So we've grown massively with the, as our customers have grown, but our team is still quite small. We have really efficient systems in place that, that allow us to kind of grow efficiently, but we have a fantastic team. We're really lucky that we have some of the best people in Watford working in, in the industry. And uh, we're, very, we're very glad to keep them and have them. And, and that's really the reason why we're winning this award today. Great stuff. Well, listen, Stephen, I hope uh, you and the team at Q1 Scientific, uh, including Louise, of course, uh, go and celebrate later on. Congratulations again. Business of the Year, up to 20 people. And now we move on to Business of the Year, 20 to 150 people. <laughs> Managing a business with up to 150 employees is no mean feat, and it's my pleasure to recognise those businesses shortlisted today on behalf of AIB Bank. We're extremely proud of our links with the business community in Waterford and look forward to supporting you along your business journey in 2022 and beyond. Flavins is one of Ireland's most trusted food brands, providing tasty, wholesome oats to our consumers across Ireland. We're based in Kilmock, Thomas, County Waterford, and we source our oats from farmers within a 60 mile radius. We produce 50 different products. Among them are traditional, organic, and convenience porridge oats, in addition to our flapjack, muesli, and granolas. Most recently, we've introduced an oat drink range. Flahavans are committed to minimizing the impact that our business has on the environment. We produce 70% of our energy supply on site at Cumming Thomas with a wind turbine, solar panels and water turbine supplemented additionally by a biomass boiler. In 2021, Flahavans was awarded Origin Green Gold Member status, further enhancing our commitment to our sustainability journey. Here at the Moorings, we are a friendly family-run bar and restaurant where the focus is on providing local, sustainable and quality food service at a fair price. We pride ourselves in employing and training people, providing them with a happy, safe environment so that our valued customers meet a familiar, friendly face when they return to see us. Congratulations to everybody shortlisted this year. Wishing you all the best of luck. Thank you.
I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the business of the year 20 to 150 employees is the Haven Hotel. <laughs> And again, the shots off screen. Karen, you're sort of uh, holding your heart there. You're overjoyed. Thank congratulations. Karen, just see, just, you might be on mute there. Just double check that you're not on mute. There you go. Now you can talk. I, I can't believe it. I'm shocked. I'm absolutely thrilled. Thank you so much to everyone, to the chamber and to all the judges that, that nominated. It's a great award. I'm absolutely thrilled. To be selected, Karen, and to get down to the finalists and to look at the competition that you're up against. Yeah. That's some serious competition. Oh, I, I never thought when I saw the competition, I, I never thought we'd do it. So I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm thrilled for all the team here, for all the staff we have. They've all worked so hard. So this is this is for them. I was just going to talk about that and the staffing issues relating to the businesses that have got to the final. They talk about how important staffing is. And in terms of the hospitality industry, particularly over the last two years and accommodating and people working together, it must be phenomenal. I'd say you just you have an amazing staff out there, don't you? We really do. And they stay loyal to us like we have brothers and sisters and people that come back year after year. They all go through college. So for them to come back after the last two years when they could have got jobs elsewhere, but they didn't. They came back to us, so they stayed loyal. So they're really part of the team here. Yeah, and the management team as well, obviously, and then all your suppliers, your producers, the locals. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they, as a, they, and you're developing the wedding venue quite well as well as marketing that as well. We are, yeah. That, and we're trying to bring Dunmore's to the rest of Ireland and the rest of the world. So we're getting wedding inquiries from all over the world now. So it's great. Congratulations, Karen, to you and to Paul and to everybody there in the Haven Hotel. And well done and continued success, particularly over the next 12 months. Thanks so much and thanks to everyone. Thanks. Enjoy tonight if you are going to have one. And well done to all the finalists. Next, we've got the business of the year with employees more than 150. <laughs> At EY, we're delighted to be associated with the Waterford Business Awards and to sponsor uh, the award for best uh, Waterford business with more than 150 employees. Uh, we're delighted to continue our association with the Waterford Chamber and the Waterford Business Awards and well done to the Chamber for continuing with these awards in such difficult times. Uh, we wish all of Waterford businesses in this category the best of luck. Merlake here was founded in 2013. Since then, we've grown extensively, not only within Waterford, but the entire southeast of Ireland and parts of America too. 2021 saw the onboarding of 500 new employees, bringing our present staff number to over 1,400. This growth is an accurate reflection on the demand for our services within the healthcare industry. Okay, yeah, I can certainly help you with that, sir. Can I just get your name and date of birth, please? We're so proud to offer employment locally and further afield, and our numbers won't stop at 1,400. The creation of Relay Care's employee engagement platforms and our annual progression programs give us confidence we'll continue to see these numbers grow. We look forward to hiring and developing more staff throughout 2022. Hello, Maura here from TQS. It is a privilege to be shortlisted for Business of the Year 150 plus employees. This will be a great recognition for our staff as they have developed the company into a global international organisation. This would not have been possible without the positive environment they've created through culture, new leadership and new voices emerged. We wish everybody success in the awards and thank you again to Waterford Chamber for all the hard work they do. Good afternoon, my name is Gwen Daniels and I'm the General Manager of the UPMC Whitfield Hospital. Um, we'd like to thank the Waterford Chamber and we're delighted to be shortlisted for this award. UPMC Whitfield Hospital is part of the UPMC in Ireland network, providing access to care to patients in Waterford, the South East and beyond. The UPMC Whitfield Hospital and the Hillman Cancer Centre provide a broad range of services to patients from surgical, medical and diagnostics provided by our highly skilled staff and our consultant team. We're really looking forward to the announcement.
The winner of the uh, business with more than 150 employees goes to TQS Integration. Well done to everyone at TQS and all the team. Fantastic achievement. Well done. <laughs>
It's but this is really, really and truly fantastic for the county. What a county we have. It really and is. And can I just say one thing, everybody, get out and support the Waterford team this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sorry. Just, it's but, just so um, wonderful. And we've been doing a lot of this over the last number of years. And Mary's done marvellous reports on this. And one thing that really stands out for us as well is humility in business and how business leaders learn from their staff and learn from their families. And to me, that's one of the the essences of why the success you've been so successful and the humble origins Moira just starting off at the kitchen table and growing it and having a day like today it just it's it's wonderful isn't it well I worked for about 10 years for zero wages and I did two part-time jobs in Dungarvan for a few bob to save with the credit union I, I know Dom, the same our same Dominic's credit union one but what a wonderful society and I saved there for holiday money for the girls uh, and that was our way Oh, it's it's just, and I I will say to everybody here, it's all about re-education. I I really would be strong. I was never really bright in school, but I went back and re-educated, and with that, it allowed us to take a back seat and look at what our employees could offer us. They're the key to the success of the company. Uh, Tom and me, we've worked our backs off, but the employees, the teams, they've developed. And it allowed us to see true leadership develop and initiatives, new ideas. And with that, well, what has happened is the company went through the roof. It was fantastic. So now even, I, I know you're all aware, we've been taken over by Cog Co or Cognizant. And this is even, even going to make Waterford more popular for people to join the company. We've loads of jobs going there. So, I mean, look, we're not going anywhere. The global reach that uh, this company can offer to Waterford is fantastic. I'm in total shock here and I'm waffling again. <laughs> Thank you to Waterford County Council, everybody that's involved. Like Jenny in Dungarvan has worked so hard. Uh, I, I'm speechless. I, I mean, my stomach is upside down <laughs> inside out here. Uh, I'm not joking you, but this is for Waterford people. I just love you to bits. And it would be great to get to the All-Ireland. I think this is our year. Oh, what a great way to finish on. Uh, oh, uh, uh, fantastic. You know it, it, thank you to everybody and all the other lads and girls that were involved in this. Um, everyone have a drink tonight. It's been, to be shortlisted, I was absolutely thrilled. But now, this is something else. Thanks a million. Thank you to everybody. Uh, Moira, Let's you see. you and the team at TQ, <laughs> you're hugely deserving. We are absolutely thrilled for you here. We're so delighted for you. And by the way, just to finish by saying, how lucky are you guys to be based in Lismore, one of the most beautiful places in the world? And I know we talked about the global reach that you have, but what a headquarters where you are. And so happy for you and all the team. I'm not going to add much more because you summed everything up so brilliantly there. And uh, yeah, here's to the All Ireland in 2022 as well. And um, the, the well being mary of everybody who works for us and all the other companies and we do support locally and i'm a firm believer in that thank you again thank you well listen massive well done to maura quilty and the team at tqs integration winner of overall business of the year at the 2021 waterford business awards we are almost bringing the ceremony to a close now ladies and gentlemen but we do have a number of people that we would like to thank for what has been a great celebration of waterford business on behalf of ourselves at wlr we want to thank uh, waterford chamber dungarvan and west waterford chamber and also the independent judging panel as well under the chairmanship of Noel Kelly. Thank you to you guys, to all the category sponsors as well for continued support, to Waterford City and County Council for sponsoring the overall award as well, uh, to Mayor Joe Kelly, uh, to the Chamber Presidents uh, John and David who uh, gave such great addresses as well. Uh, thank you and also thank you of course to the Taoiseach who, who joined us uh, for the ceremony uh, earlier on which was fantastic uh, as well. And our tech team here, everybody in Frontline, in particular Tom and Dean, and also everybody working in WLR behind the scenes. Claire on the technical matters, Linda Lawton obviously in the chamber doing some great work there as well. And everybody that's been involved in the lifeline of what is the business community. It's been a great pleasure to be your hosts for today. And I want to say a special mention as well to Owen Corrigan here in WLR who has done marvellous work and to Des and Michael all the way through. Yes, indeed. And listen, congratulations to everybody, uh, to the 11 category winners, uh, an unbelievable achievement to all of you. Uh, Entrepreneur of the Year, Louise Grubb, TQS, uh, who won overall business of the year. Uh, we've nothing left to say, only uh, we're absolutely delighted for your, you all. It's a Friday. Uh, go off and have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy yourselves. And thanks again. <laughs>